Welcome to Module 8. Components and Resources for AWS Security. In this module, we will cover these subjects. Network ACLs and Security Groups. The Differences Between Network ACLs and Security Groups. AWS Web Application Firewall or WAF. AWS Marketplace to find third-party cloud security software. Sources of AWS Security Information. AWS Trusted Advisor. Let's get started. We'll use a simple analogy featuring Captain America's journey to help explain how AWS Network ACL, the Access Control List and Security Groups function. Let's dive in. Imagine Steve Rogers, known as Captain America, embarking on a quick trip from his apartment in Singapore to Malaysia. Steve breezed out of his apartment in Singapore, heading to Singapore Immigration. At Singapore Immigration, an officer reviews Steve's passport to determine his eligibility for exiting Singapore. Having left Singapore, Steve now finds himself at Malaysia Immigration, unsure whether he will receive approval or encounter delays. Steve finally gets through Malaysia Immigration and proceeds to check in at his hotel, receiving his hotel keycard. Steve enters his hotel room and takes some well-deserved rest. Steve is returning to Singapore and no longer requires the hotel access card to check out from his room. Upon arriving at Malaysia Immigration, Steve anxiously awaits the officer's passport inspection. After clearing Malaysia Immigration, Steve queues up at Singapore Immigration, hoping for a positive outcome. Steve eventually reaches his apartment building, where the security guard remembers him and grants him access to his apartment. Back at home, Steve retreats to his apartment to enjoy some well-deserved rest. Now, let's relate these scenes to AWS Network ACL and Security Groups. By now, you should have a clear understanding of network access control lists and security groups using our analogy featuring Steve Rogers, or Captain America. Now, let's dive a bit deeper into this concept. Imagine that Subnet 1 represents Singapore, Subnet 2 is Malaysia, and we'll continue with the Captain America analogy to explain how network access control lists and security groups work. In our analogy, We've established that Steve's journey mirrors the traffic between AWS subnets. Subnet 1, symbolizing Singapore, and Subnet 2, representing Malaysia. Now, picture the immigration officers who examine Steve's passport as network access control lists. These network access control lists act as the gatekeepers, just like the immigration officers, controlling what traffic is allowed in and out of each country. Similarly, the apartment and hotel security access control can be thought of as security groups. These security groups are like the security measures in place at the apartment building and the hotel. By default, security group of instance A will permit all outbound traffic, so the packet made it through. But network access control lists have their own set of rules. They don't care about instance A security group. They have a separate list of who can and can't pass. As the packet approaches the target subnet 2, it encounters network access control list subnet 2 once more, where it must abide by the rules set there. Upon reaching the target instance B, its security group determines whether the packet is allowed. The packet has finally reached its destination, instance B. Security groups are stateful, which means they remembered that they allowed the incoming packet, so they allow all return traffic by default on the journey back. In contrast, network access control lists are stateless. They don't take note on the previous inbound and outbound packet. They constantly inspect all inbound and outbound traffic since they don't keep track of connection states. 
Once again, Network Access Control List Subnet 2 is stateless and inspects all traffic that comes its way. The packet is almost at instance B, but the Stateful Security Group recognizes it and skips the need for further checks. The packet returns to instance A. Let's summarize our understanding of network access control list and security groups and draw comparisons between them. Network access control lists, and ACL, act as a virtual firewall, controlling both inbound and outbound traffic at the subnet level. On the other hand, security groups also function as a virtual firewall but operate at the resource level within the subnet. NACL manages traffic entering or leaving the subnet, while security groups manage traffic at the resource level, such as an EC2 instance. NACLs are stateless, perceiving traffic as two separate streams, inbound and outbound. In contrast, security groups are stateful, viewing traffic as a unified stream and automatically allowing outbound traffic for permitted inbound traffic. NACL requires separate inbound and outbound rules for each stream. Security groups, however, have rules that apply to both inbound and outbound traffic simultaneously. By default, an ACL allows all inbound and outbound traffic, but this can be modified by adding custom rules. Security groups, by default, deny all inbound traffic and allow all outbound traffic, with the ability to be customized. For an ACL, all inbound and outbound traffic is denied until specific rules are added to allow certain traffic. In security groups, you specify rules to allow specific inbound traffic, and any other inbound traffic is automatically denied. NACL support both allow and deny rules, enabling explicit denial of certain IP addresses. In contrast, security groups support only allow rules, and they have a hidden explicit deny, anything not explicitly allowed is denied. For NACL, rules are configured based on IP addresses, IP address ranges, or subnet IDs. Security groups, on the other hand, allow rules based on IP addresses, IP address ranges, and security group IDs. The AWS Web Application Firewall, commonly known as AWS WAF. AWS WAF is your shield against common web exploits and disruptive bots. Its purpose is to fortify your web applications, shielding them from potential threats that could compromise security, impact availability, or excessively consume resources. As mentioned earlier, both NACL and security groups operate by managing traffic through specified IP addresses or ranges. In the case of our hero, Steve Rogers, he is granted access to the Stark Industries web application because his laptop's IP address aligns with the approved range. Conversely, Thanos, attempting to compromise the system, possesses an IP address within the authorized range. Exploiting vulnerabilities using malware, including tactics like SQL injection and cross-site scripting, he successfully launches an attack on the web application. AWS WAF empowers you to regulate traffic by employing a web access control list defined by you. This allows the blocking of prevalent attack patterns like SQL injections or cross-site scripting for enhanced security. AWS WAF seamlessly integrates with the application load balancer. AWS WAF provides the capability to either block or allow traffic based on conditions such as IP addresses, HTTP headers, or custom URLs. Furthermore, AWS WAF collaborates seamlessly with Amazon CloudFront. If you need third-party or ISV, the independent software vendors for security software, AWS Marketplace serves as your primary hub for sourcing third-party solutions to meet your security needs. Offering a diverse range of options, AWS Marketplace enables seamless deployment into your AWS account. In AWS Marketplace, these third-party software security categories encompass application security, cloud security, identity and access controls, endpoint security, governance, risk and compliance, network security, security information and event management or SIEM, web application firewall and edge security, along with managed services security. 
Whether you're a newcomer or a seasoned AWS user, staying informed about security is crucial for a safe and reliable cloud experience. Here are some valuable sources of AWS security information. First up, we have the AWS Knowledge Center, your go-to resource for answers. This vast repository offers articles and videos addressing the most common questions and requests from AWS customers. It's the place to find solutions to issues frequently encountered. You can access it conveniently through the AWS Support Center. Next, the AWS Security Center. This is your central hub for all things security related. It's where you can access the latest versions of security white papers and receive crucial security updates. Additionally, if you ever come across a security concern, this is where you can report it. Lastly, we have the AWS Security Blog. This blog is a treasure trove of AWS security insights. It's authored by AWS professionals and has been a trusted source since 2009. Here, you'll find articles on various security topics, ranging from security attacks, best practices, to handy how to guides. Staying updated has never been this easy. Beyond security offerings, AWS Marketplace extends its catalog to include diverse third-party or independent software vendor solutions. This encompasses operating systems, networking, storage, data analytics, DevOps, machine learning, and data products, all accessible through the AWS Marketplace website. The AWS Trusted Advisor acts as your guide to optimizing costs, enhancing performance, ensuring resilience, and addressing security gaps within your AWS environment. AWS Trusted Advisor conducts best practice checks across five crucial pillars to ensure your infrastructure is running at its best. Now, let's delve into each use case for a more in-depth understanding. For cost optimization, Trusted Advisor helps identify unused resources and provides opportunities to lower your costs. It assesses your AWS environment and recommends actions to continuously optimize for efficiency. To boost performance, Trusted Advisor analyzes the usage and configuration of your AWS environment. This ensures that your applications operate with optimal speed and responsiveness. In the realm of security, Trusted Advisor assesses your AWS environment against security standards and best practices. It's your vigilant companion in addressing security gaps effectively. For resilience, Trusted Advisor examines your AWS environment to identify redundancy shortfalls and overused resources. It guides you on how to enhance fault tolerance for a more robust infrastructure. To track service limits, Trusted Advisor checks the usage for your account and sends notifications when you approach or exceed service limits. This ensures you stay informed and can take proactive measures. When entering the AWS Management Console, navigate to AWS Trusted Advisor for valuable insights. To access AWS Trusted Advisor, simply log into the AWS Management Console and either go directly to the service if you've recently visited, or located under Find Services for quick access. In this example, we have the AWS Trusted Advisor dashboard, showcasing a total of 110 checks categorized into different pillars. These include 9 checks for cost optimization, 10 for performance, 17 for security, 24 for fault tolerance, and 50 for service limits. Notice the red, amber, and green icons. They represent the check level status. Red indicates an error state for a single resource, yellow signifies a warning state for a single resource, and green means that no resource is in an error or warning state. It's important to clarify that the check level summary doesn't reflect the number of recommendations. Recommendations are tailored to specific resources inspected, and the actual number depends on the impacted resources. For detailed recommendations, select each pillar to drill down into individual checks. If you prefer a comprehensive overview, you can download an Excel sheet with tabs corresponding to each check, providing the same level of detailed information. Congratulations! You have completed Module 8, Components and Resources for AWS Security.